Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the Rolling Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install dynamic lights in Minecraft 1.7.2. So first off, you want to go here, which is uh, atomicstriker.xsdynamiclights.php, or the first link in the description. Once you're there, don't click on any ads, and you want to scroll down to the very, very bottom, and you will see Download Dynamic Lights, or Dynamic Lights Downloads. Now, there's a lot of versions here, but we're not interested in anything but 1.7.2. So go ahead and click that, and then it will take you off to AdFly. Once you're here, you're going to have to wait five seconds. If this is not sure what, probably because it's an error with the cookies, I would recommend refreshing your browser a few times. If that does not work, check the links in the description. There are two down there that will help you with that. One for Mozilla Firefox and one for Google Chrome. You will then go to GitHub here. And uh, right here is the file we want to download. But to download it, you simply want to go View Raw and it will download. Bada bing, bada boom, that's how easy it is. After you've got this mod downloaded, it will be either on your desktop here or it will be in your downloads folder. So simply hit the Windows uh, button right up here, search downloads, and there that is. For me, it's on my desktop. Now we do not need WinRAR with this, even though it can make the process easier. I'm gonna teach you how to do it without WinRAR. Simply right click on the uh, books icon or in your case, what is a zipped folder. You will right click on it and you want to either click extract files or unzip files. Depending on what you're using, when raw or not, depends on what it is. You can also share with or open with Windows Explorer and it will open it like this as well and you can pull whatever you want to out of here. However, I would just simply recommend right clicking on it and extracting or unzipping the files and going through the process. After that, right here is your, your folder you're wanting to work with. Now you want to double click on this. It will then open this right here and then double click on mods. After that, right here is what we're looking for, dynamic lights. Go ahead and drag that to your desktop, close out of this folder and delete these original two. Just leaving you with this dynamic lights mod. Now we're not done quite yet. We want to go download Minecraft Forge. To do this, simply go to Minecraft forge.net slash form slash index.php or the second link in the description. Once you're there, you simply want to go right here to 1.7.2 recommended and scroll all the way over until you see installer. Click that, it will then open up this and then take it to AdFly where they then have to wait 10 seconds, but that's not it. You then actually have to wait another five seconds. So this is always sort of awkward when you do these tutorials because you just kind of have to sit here and ramble, but you then click, click here to continue. Then, like I said, you gotta wait another five seconds right up here and it's quite ridiculous, but two, one, we can finally download the Forge mod. It downloads it right down here. Click, keep and minimize your browser. Now you have Forge right here, simply right click on it, and you want to open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. It will then open this right here. You want to install the client, so go ahead and click OK, and it will do all this stuff and then say successfully installed, or it will give you an error and actually tell you how to fix the error. So Forge is really cool in the fact it does help you in that light. Now you can delete that thing we just downloaded, and it's time to officially install dynamic lights. Hit Windows key on your keyboard, R. It'll bring up percent app data percent. That's what you want to type in there, percent app data percent in the run program, click OK, and then it will take you to dot roaming. After here, you want to go into dot Minecraft and then go down to mods and drag and drop dynamic lights over there. I will now meet you in Minecraft. And by meet you in Minecraft, I mean meet you in the Minecraft launcher. Now you need to go to the profile you want to play. For me, that's Dead Buddha. Hit edit profile. It will then open up this. You then want to click use version. I'm not looking for shaders mods. So let's go ahead and scroll down here all the way to the bottom to release 1.7.2 Forge. And then click that and say profile. Now we can hit play. It will boot up Minecraft and we will have dynamic lights installed. I'm even going to show you in creative mode. So let's go ahead and launch this up. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And uh, once we're in here, we want to simply go to mods. I'll prove it here by we going down and seeing dynamic lights right there and dynamic lights creeper, all the dynamic lights that comes with it. Click done and uh, go ahead and go to single player. Once you're here, you can go ahead and test it real quick by just going into creative world or your survival world, whatever you want to do. We can just test this real quick and uh, let's search for a torch here 
and bada bing bada boom let's dig straight down come on just just go down for me just go down and then go this way to where it's dark and we can show this mod off a little bit and booyah it lights up instantly so there you can see dynamic lights is working. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, guys, I'm Nix Games and I am out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is Minecraft with Guns. It is a Minecraft spin off game where you go and you play a Minecraft looking game, but it's an FPS. It's not in the Minecraft client, it's standalone. Go check it out. It's really, really good, and I actually had a lot of fun playing it. And on the right is Classic Craft Episode 20. That is my Minecraft Let's Play series, which I go back and play Minecraft Alpha, have some fun, and uh, just enjoy myself in the old days of Minecraft with all of the. There's really not a lot in that in that old version. Like, it's really not. You have to really make do with what you've got. So go check out that video to see how I do that. Also, check out my daily vlogs with Bomb Center of your screen. See what I'm doing every single day of my life. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I am out. Peace.